you won. The fourth episode of Westworld is here, where we finally get more answer about what is going on with the show and twist after twist. We got a really unexpected twist at the end of this episode that I will have to discuss in a moment. After last week's episode, Maeve and Caleb wanted to get to the second level. Here they discovered that Hales is creating the flies and that she's testing this in humans. Of course the twist is that one of these hosts is the daughter of Caleb. Now arriving to this episode where we continue where we left off after the consequences of this. The episode starts with a screaming Caleb and with a flashback to the events of the lighthouse. Here we get to see what really happened during those days. They're in a secondary location where another Ryobim is being kept. There was more than one and we did not knew this. They have to go in, plant some bombs and escape. This as we can see caused an injury to Caleb and one Maeve decided to leave. The conversation between Caleb and Maeve where we talk about freedom, how he was able to see the freedom of Maeve and this is something that I hope that eventually the character of Maeve is able to have. He has something in his mouth after all allowing him to see this. This decision pushed Maeve to leave him and go on a journey to the woods where she was trying to reach him however we get to see how this brought host to her location but still that relationship that they have is something that we have not seen because it was seven years but we get to see how they care about each other. Hales talks with Haley, where we get to see that the flies control the brain specifically the hippocampus going from the tablet. Hales explains that she doesn't want to kill humans that she wants to be the one controlling everyone. Hales wants to use the park to give the flies to the humans. This was a theory that I had and it just makes sense. She wants humans to be the hosts of what the parasite that she has created. This will take time. She has a plan and this will be New York park that we see at the end of the episode and the previous episodes. The park where Christina is is genius but it was something that it was to be expected so it's not a really big twist. However the bigger twist is Teddy and who he is. Maeve with Men Eye Black explained that William is a host and in a way Maeve is one of the last hosts and Dolores being the first. The fight continues from the last episode but she's able to escape. Here we see the tower that we're gonna see in the future the beginning of this so we're just seeing how she won. Maeve meditates and she's trying to control the tower. This is the weapon that Bernard is referring in the previous episode. She's the only one able to destroy this tower and free the humans. However, Hales is injecting flies and she as well is able to control Caleb with her mind. This really makes the show more interesting about what's gonna happen in the upcoming episodes. In New York where we can confirm that this is in the future, we get to see how Christina is receiving messages. Is she the savior or is it Maeve? How is she going to play in all of this? We also get an interesting conversation between Christina and her roommate Maya and how she got infected by the flies. We get to see how uh, we're piecing things together and how some, you know, the cause and effect of everything. However, is this Hale controlling the roommate? This is one of the situations of a human being injected but more about how they're being controlled by Hales. Christina doesn't know what this tower is. However, as we know, this is really important to everything that is happening in this world. Now, moving into Bernard, where they want to look for this weapon, this being Maeve, as well as the twist that was to be expected is that Frankie is Caleb's daughter. Uh, to be honest, it was a little bit obvious going from what we're seeing in the show. So this was one of the twists that I was like, okay. However, the, the, the twist of the ending of the episode was huge. We continue with the escape of Maeve and Caleb. However, Hales is able to control the host in this location using the tower where we get to see a nice action sequence. Also the sound that starts hurting the humans and as we get to see with Caleb. However, the machine also control hosts. However, they're able to escape before Caleb getting shot. But moving to Renard, throughout this we get to see how he's looking into this location that looks like an old mine. We get to see what mine this is. This is the old mine that Maeve was with Men in Black at the end of the episode. And now she was all this time here after 23 years. They arrive to the location where they're trying to hide. However, Renard knows what is going to happen next and he tests the theory of what path he's in by doing this, saving a bug, saving life, which is what Renard is all about. Back in New York in the day that we all wanted to see the meeting of Teddy and Christina. Are these two versions of the characters hosts or are they a reboot version of the characters we know? We don't know what they are but it's still really interesting this season. The meeting is romantic and Teddy is back. The conversation was super interesting because they talk about their past. Teddy says that he knows her a lifetime but how like who you guys are. By saying your writer is this version of of Teddy, he talks about his job and the mystery of all of this. Is Hales behind this? So many questions. But the meeting was awesome. Really enjoy it. 
Now, the last part of the episode is the connection of what happened with Caleb and Maeve. They talk about what happened after the events of the lighthouse, where they arrived to the park expansion project, and they want to go there because they need an extraction point. Another action part of the episode is Maeve versus MIB, and Hills is able to control Caleb, but he's able to shoot Men in Black instead. Sadly, Maeve is shot. The, the explosion seemed to kill Men in Black and Maeve. Going from the end of the episode, Maeve is the only one there, cutting to the discovery of Maeve. Bernard knows where to find her, and of course, the big twist of the episode is that Caleb died during those events. However, we get to see what happened, where he went through the process of fidelity. We see what happened with Maeve and Caleb during that time. But this version of Caleb that we're seeing is, is only a host human version of the consciousness of Caleb. As we know, this is the fidelity process that they wanted to do uh, with the creator of Delos. And we're in the future in the Wellsville Park that is now controlled by Dolores. Whatever she wanted, she completed and now she's able to control Westworld. Becoming Westworld, actually the world. Now, Hells is in full control of the world that we're seeing, including Christina. So after all, 23 years have passed, confirming our theory that Christina is in the future and that this is a tower that is controlling everyone and that the Hales is in the tower. We also get more information on the details of what happened with the character of Caleb and what is going to be the direction of the show. The episode was filled with twists and turns. And as we can see at the end of the episode, Caleb escaped, seeing that Hales is able to control every human. Also, Olympiad is Delos, confirming our theory, and that the tower is controlling every human. I was not expecting the, tier, the twist of Caleb being a host or, you know, a heroic version, passing fidelity, so this was unexpected. But this was an incredible episode and for sure set up the upcoming episodes really well. Now, going into episode five, we have a lot of theories about what could happen in the upcoming episodes. Of course, the discovery of Maeve is going to be uh, super interesting to see how she's going to wake up after all this time, not knowing what happened and seeing Bernard as well. There's going to be a nice, interesting meeting that could ha that's going to happen in the next episode. I'm excited for that. Also, we know that Christina will continue to investigate the tower and what is going on in New York. Uh, my question is who she is, like how was she created and why did Dolores or Hales created this character? I'm excited to see that. Now, if you're watching this video right now, I'm in a cruise. So I apologize the quality. Uh, I'm going to be back in two weeks, so I will try to do episode five. But those are some of my theories for now. If not, then I apologize, but I appreciate your support in watching this video. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Christian from Beyond Premiere, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye, one.